Alright, this is um, one kilogram of bismuth or bismuth, bismuto, uh, beautiful diamagnetic metal, and uh, yeah, one kilogram. So you can see the size. Just uh, it's very heavy metal. And it also looks quite beautiful, you can see here. So, yeah, I'm gonna make some experiments with it and the magnetic fields. And right, so let's melt it. All right, if you work with mold metal, like we smooth. You should always be prepared and um, use safety gears uh, like uh, safety goggles and hand gloves. So make sure that you don't hurt yourself. So here I have a little aluminium uh, from uh, yeah you know the cat food. So this will help me to uh, get a form for the smooth plates I'm going to make. All right, can see it's melting. Just takes time. You can see the typical rainbow colors of the oxide uh, surface of the bismuth so yeah looks beautiful yeah looks good Right, if you work with liquid metal, you should always be careful not to put your finger into it. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm just kidding, it's a really cool. Alright, let's try to get off this form here. Let's see how it's done. Alright, so I just got rid of the noses and smoothed the surface a little bit and did a little polish. So this is what it looks like without uh, polishing it. Uh, yeah, you can see the rainbow colors. Right. Hi folks! Today I'd like to show you a little experiment to test eddy currents in bismuth. So here yeah, I have my bismuth plates and uh, yeah, let's check out and do some research now. I put it into my SC center. I have my function generator running on 20 Hz. And give the magnet a little spin here. Just to see, uh, you know, aluminum and copper will produce a lot of eddy currents by spinning magnets or shifting north and south poles. So I show you now, I can feel the vibration and if I get a little deeper, the magnet will stop. So what happens with the bismuth plate, you see nothing, but bismuth and copper have a little difference here. I'm going to show you now, if I raise the frequency here. 
to speed up the stir magnet in my SSC center. Now it's running on 80 Hz. And now I'm gonna take a bismuth plate and put it close to the magnet. I can feel a little vibration and if I get closer it will produce eddy currents and that will disrupt the signal from the frequency generator and bring the sphere magnet to stop. Alright, so this mood, the metal, uh, diamagnetic, will also produce eddy currents but only at a higher frequency. So you gotta know that. Alright, thanks for watching.